NVIDIA, popular among teenagers and gaming enthusiasts for its graphic cards in PCs, has stamped its authority in building computer chips for artificial intelligence. The California-based company dominates the market for chips that work with massive amounts of language data. According to reports, the company's growth in the field has been such that many startup ventures in the US trying to enter into chip making have seen reduced funding in the first three quarters of this year. NVIDIA's dominance has resonated in its share price as well, with the stock growing over 240% in the past one year. Coming to the AI computing scene in India, the growth has fallen short of satisfactory in recent times. India's first supercomputer, Erawat, installed at CDAC in Pune, has been ranked 75 in the list of 61st edition of the top 500 global supercomputing list released recently. Though remarkable, this ranking doesn't justify the immense AI potential that the Indian tech ecosystem carries. So what are the capacity gaps that hamper India's AI growth? Jaijit Bhattacharya of Think Tank Center for Digital Economy Policy Research shares his perspective. It consumes an enormous amount of compute power, which means enormous amount of electricity, water for cooling. And again, India is lacking on that. Uh, we don't have enough power still uh, to just uh, push our, our regular industries, MSME industries. So diverting power to AI becomes a, a policy challenge. And third is manpower which even though India is abundant in terms of uh, you know, IT manpower, we still have a challenge in terms of manpower, which is which has the requisite skills for AI at a, a deep skill level. The pursuit of large language models akin to OpenAI's GPT-3 has been a significant trend in AI research globally. But the lack of computing infrastructure poses a challenge as AI development demands substantial computational power. In a recent interview, NVIDIA chief Jensen Huang said that OpenAI currently has more than 10,000 GPUs equivalent to 40 AI supercomputers. Finding potential in this challenge, Reliance Industries and Tata Group recently joined forces with NVIDIA with the promise of accelerating India's AI capabilities. According to a Reuters report, the partnership will allow Reliance access to the latest version of NVIDIA's Grace Hopper Super Chip. It's AI chip optimized to perform interference functions that power apps like ChatGPT. In its collaboration with Reliance, NVIDIA will develop India's own foundational large language model trained on the country's diverse languages. Reliance will create AI applications and services for its 450 million customers. The AI infrastructure will be hosted in data centers ready for AI-ready computing. Reliance said that the new AI infrastructure will foster a host of India's AI projects like chatbots, drugs discovery and climate research. NVIDIA will provide AI supercomputing services and technologies while the execution and implementation will be managed by GEO. With the Tata Group, the NVIDIA aims to create an AI infrastructure to support the local economy. For example, AI can support rural farmers to interact on mobile devices in their native language to get weather information, crop prices, etc. The 6 lakh strong TCS workforce will also be reskilled in AI. So what are the synergies playing out between the Tata's, Reliance and NVIDIA? Tata Motors will be using it in design and presumably in simulated testing. Reliance will using AI to create large language models in Indian languages. And once you've got LLMs, etc., it will be trying to leverage this. The synergy is basically uh, NVIDIA makes the best AI capable chips in the world. So NVIDIA has a lot of experience putting its own clusters together. And if it's working with a big organization which knows what it wants, will probably be able to do this very effectively. So NVIDIA has the compute technology, but does it have the wherewithal to actually run those uh, technologies, to actually power those, to actually bring in enough water to cool those uh, uh, processors? No. 
which is where TCS and Geo fit in very well. Building large language models requires not only computational power, but also extensive data sets and research expertise. Could there be some challenges to this collaboration? Stay in India, being India, you will run into some kind of regulatory challenge. So, apart from regulatory challenges, what else could become a problem for India's AI growth? There needs to be clarity in terms of who is bringing the actual dollars in and then who is going to consume what they create, who is going to the market and uh, therefore who is going to get the, the revenues uh, out of this infrastructure how will that get divided between the players? But I'm sure it will be a success given the maturity of the three uh, stakeholders. While the battle to dominate the artificial intelligence space is intensifying, the partnership with NVIDIA holds promise for the Tatas and Reliance. With that, India's AI journey could soon enable scientists and researchers to find solutions for some of the world's most complex problems. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard.